DJ Pro has such an amazing sampler feature, and in this video, I'm going to show you a workaround on how to add effects to existing samples and even your own custom samples. And I'm also going to show you how to add your own scratching into the DJ Pro sampler. So for example, this is one of the scratches that I recorded. And then this is a sample that's already built in in the DJ vocal drops. This is Break It Down. Break it down. I added some effects to it. Now it sounds like this. Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. And then also with the air horn, this is the original air horn. <laughs> this is the air horn, uh, the custom sample that I made out of the air horn with effects. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is how to adjust the volume and add and add effects into the samples. So let's start with a new sample. So to get to your sampler, I recommend going to Pro Mode. So if you're in Classic, press the middle button and then go to Pro Mode. And then it may look like this, it may look like that, but we, what you want to do is press this one with the six squares. And now we are in our sampler. And then I'm just going to open up the DJ vocal drops. All right, and now we're going to start with check them out. Check them out. Check so them that out. is what check them out sounds like. So now, what if you wanted to add some echo, add some effects, kind of spice it up because it's a little bit boring. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press this pencil button down here. Check them out. So check now them we out. have check them out. So in order to do this, there is a couple of steps. It's a little bit hard, but it's worth it at the end. So now we are going to go press the middle button and we are going to record. Make sure you don't have anything loaded up from a, str a streaming service because if you have something loaded up from a streaming service, it is not going to let you record. It's going to give you this. So make sure we have nothing from a streaming service. We're using samples, so we're allowed to record this. So just eject that and then now press record and then middle button and then the record they moved it to over here so now we are going to record start a new recording and we are going to just play that sample so it's recording and now we're going to do check, them out. check, check them, out. them out it recorded and now we are going to stop the recording load it up into a deck so there's our recording we click on it load it up into a deck now it's on this deck and there's a lot of space here but that's fine because we could just set a cue point. We're going to set our temporary cue point, use this set button, and now this is what we recorded. Check him out. Check him out. Add an echo to this because it's going to be easy. It's going to be easy to tell that we added something to it. So echoes on it. Echoes on it. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out. And then there Check we go. Out. We have Check the effect on it. So now what we're going to do is this is loaded into a deck. We're going to now we have the effect on it and now we're going to try to record it again. See what happens. Start the recording again and we're just recording it with the echo. Check him out. 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 So there we go. We have that and now we are going to stop our recording. Now that recording is stopped. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to load that new recording into a deck. So now that's loaded into the deck. Let's bring it up here, set our cue point. And then now it has the echo. So now in order to record a sample into the app, what we're going to do is go back to our sampler. Make sure you have this make sure you have this pencil selected. And now I'm going to do this one where it says baddest, baddest DJ. You're going to press the three dots. You're going to go all the way you're going to go to my samples over here and then all the way up and it says tap and hold to record the sample. So make sure our cue point is set up good. Best DJ. Best DJ. And then we are going to go all the way up in my samples, and now we are going to record this as a sample. So hold it in for as long as you want it to record. Ready? Check them out. 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 And then there we go. So now we have this sample. So now we loaded it into a deck. So this sample is into the deck recorded with the effect. 
Take him out, 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 take him out. That is the exact process of how to do it of a sample. So you could do this with your own custom samples. Uh, if you check out one of the uh, one of my other videos where I show you how to make your own custom samples, you could add effects to it. Now I just want to show you how you would add some scratching into one of these samples. So this is one that I did. It's a simple baby scratch. So maybe if you're using your phone or just the iPad, it may be hard to actually scratch, even though I know you guys could do it. It might be easier just to load it up into a sample and scratch that way. So hold in the music select button here. Load up our scratch sample. And I'm just going to go this one right here. It's like the third sample and it sounds like this. Like that. And then to do a baby scratch, you just touch the jog wheel. It's really easy and just go back and forth. You want low pitch, you do it slow. You want high pitch, you do it fast. So now what we are going to do is we are going to go do a recording, start a recording. It's recording now. Get some scratches. There we go. We got our scratch. Stop recording. Load it up onto a deck. Now it's on a deck. Sounds kind of cool with that reverb, but let's take the reverb off for this example. Now we got this. There we go, and now we'll go to our sampler, we're in our sampler, and you gotta press the pencil button, and then now, let's rock, let's rock party. this party! I don't want to get rid of that one. Um, let's put it right here. There we go. Make sure you're in my samples, go up here, and it's going to let us record. Make sure your cue point's good, and now let's record. Now it's recorded. Load it up. And there you go. We recorded our own scratches into the sampler and then we added effects and made the built-in samples more of our own. And you could also do the same thing with your own custom samples. And if you want to learn how to create your own custom samples, check out one of these videos over here. Thank you.